So here I've got one bowl, one plate and one mug. You do not need more than this. If you've got any more, they're just going to live underneath your bed all year. Um, try and make them somewhat recognisable. Go to a charity shop and pick up something really cheap but that you're not going to lose amongst all the rest of the student's stuff. Pans, again, just find some cheap ones. These are not cheap. These are not mine either. I find one little one and one big one works pretty well. I think it's enough. Anything more and you might be overdoing it a bit. Maybe a frying pan if you want, especially if you do a lot of fried food. But yeah, don't feel the need to bring every single thing that you've got in the cupboard at home. Also, some kind of wooden stick, like a spatula thing. I like to have a few simple cookbooks as well. It just means that you don't end up eating the same thing week in, week out. Um, try and find some kind of simple one. There's a lot of student ones, like not for students, that are really good. Especially because they don't use weighing scales. Um, this one I really like because it's a one pot cookbook, so you're actually going to need only one of those frying pans in the whole time that you use this book. Everything just seems better with cheese, and especially if you're worried about getting enough protein. Cheese on pasta is like such a staple meal. I've got a box of cereal here. What I've also got is a rucksack because I think the test of a good rucksack is whether your cereal box fits in it. Do you bring some kind of water bottle? Yeah, there you go. A good rucksack. Fitting that in there. So what you can do if you're running late for your lecture and you've got like 10 minutes to get there. Um, I know from Whitefields for me it was 7 minutes at a very, very, very fast walk to get from there to the Zeeman building. So oftentimes I get up just in time and then shove something like a box of cereal into my bag and eat it when I got there. It's just nice to have something to make your room look a bit more special and especially having a tiny little plant I think can be nice because like you have to work so hard to look after yourself while you're at university and having that tiny bit of responsibility of trying to keep a plant alive it's just something quite mindful about it isn't there? This is also really cute. For making notes um, in maths you literally just need a pen and some paper. I think this is vector analysis? Is that first year or second year? Yeah, this has got little squares on it. I think generally math students tend to prefer the narrow rules stuff, so either tiny squares or tiny lines. Um, and then I like to use just a normal bic. You can get them as well, usually in Roach, Roach Grocery Store. Running shoes or sports shoes, or if you've got football boots as well. If you're planning on doing sports at uni and you've got some kind of shoes that might help, just remember to bring them. If you're going to be going to taste this session, you may as well do it in the right footwear if you've got it. There is a sports direct really nearby, it's right by Tesco. I kept a kind of diary journal in my first year and I'm really glad I did. Like, it's just nice reading back all those memories, especially being able to look back on the people that you met in your first few weeks. My best friends now, I actually met within the first three days of university. We all came out of the lecture hall, we went to this like mini math social thing with like carrots and hummus. Just for some reason they're constant in maths, there's always carrots and hummus. It's, it's really nice to look back on and so getting like just pictures of those first few weeks and writing stuff down, it, it will just make a lot of good memories for you.